hello. <clears throat> I haven't been making videos for a few days. And there's a reason for that. <clears throat> Directly correlates to what Salbucci was talking about. And uh, upcoming events. Um, I see from all the information that I've been getting for some years now digging and digging um, here in America we for the most part everybody's apathetic or lethargic about uh, the political situation that might be good uh, because here's why I say that might be good if the American people woke up into full consciousness and awareness of what was being done and the true state of the lack of us having a nation now it's no longer ours people would be faced with two choices go along with the program to minimize uh, detrimental impacts felt upon themselves or do something about it okay so we know what's going to happen if people say just go for the ride let's say people do say we're going to do something about it and the vast majority of America agrees with that if it's just the civilians that agree with that there's going to be a horrendous amount of bloodshed because the military is controlled by those who control our government I'm just going to call them shadow people because all the other names I hear applied to these people don't truly fit and I won't fall into that trap that they have built for people to fall into all right so let's suppose the other side of the vast majority of America wakening up and they decide to do something about it but also that those in the military also agree to do something about it and here's why I haven't made any videos if that was to occur all hell would be unleashed on this planet because the pigs that feel they own everything and it is their divine right to own everything would not give up anything we would have so many countries unleashing their hellish weapons against us that uh, we'd be decimated and that's the reality I've come to and why I haven't posted any more videos about stuff that's going on um, they won't let it rest they will not let their little prize go All right so we can see in Afghanistan Iraq they're using depleted uranium but that's okay with them that it makes the area uninhabitable because the natural resources will still be available forget the people it's the resources that's all that counts to these people so the same could be said to be what would occur here in the United States the same tactic tactics doesn't matter what weaponry or mechanism of mass kill they would use because all the resources would still be intact and let's not forget that they've got bombs now that they can set off and it leaves all of the infrastructure intact all the buildings and everything else so uh, yeah I'm in a pretty dark space because of logic and logic dictates from all the facts that I've been able to gather from old history that leads us to this point that's where I've been on my channel trying to show what's led us to this point and that
that's the sad truth of the matter. We've got people who have, are claiming we are in debt to them when they've given us nothing. They've given us slavery instead. And I've spoke out once before about the national debt and how it should be viewed. And that's when I got an SQL injection to my computer and the death threats. That was irrelevant to me. It, it just irritated me because I had to reload all my music. Um, and I've got a lot of CD, CDs, so it takes days to put all of it back on my system. But what we're talking about here, myself, see, I was able to, when I was making those other videos, it's a risk to just me. Now, if I pull out everything that I found out, and logic tells me I can, through empirical evidence, You can't deny the facts that make the true reality that most are unaware of. And um, I've stated in my videos before that I've been dead three times. One of those was at my own hand. Um, so when I did those videos, I was just thinking of myself as far as risk and it was acceptable to me because I've already already come to terms with death it's inevitable okay I'm I know I'm old enough to know I'm not immortal every little bang or ding uh, ultimately it accumulates and you pay for it that's why I'm in this wheelchair now but as far as where I'm at now in my realization of all of the facts is I'm terrified for the rest of my country so um, will I come online and just outright state fact after fact after fact that leads us to where I'm at in my head no I'm not gonna do that I will not place that burden on anybody um, it, the main reason being I do not want Albert Pike's third world war to happen I do not want to see my country destroyed but it looks like it's going to be destroyed anyway so we're looking at a triage situation as far as casualties uh, less or more less casualties definite enslavement World War three a lot of death destruction and there might not even be an earth left these people don't care about things like that these shadow people and the reason I say there would be a world war three like Albert Pike proclaimed is because the agents of this mongoloid race yes mongoloid 101 Dalmatians in their bloodlines um, and then we have those that are kept pure through breeding with relatives and family they control those other countries that would unleash the hell against us that's where I'm at people so I can't go on with the doom and gloom and go where it logically leads to I can't place that burden on people. I won't. I'm sorry, but it's it's a horror you don't want in your head. Believe me, you don't want this in your head. <laughs>